हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल कोड विद मुराद आई होप यू गाइस आर डूइंग वेल सो एज यू गाइस नो लाइक आई क्रिएट लॉट्स ऑफ फुल स्टैक एप्लीकेशन यूजिंग स्प्रिंग बूट एंड रिएक्ट जेस इफ यू हैव नॉट चेक देन यू कैन चेक माय यूट्यूब चैनल हियर यू विल बी एबल टू सी लॉट्स ऑफ यू नो फुल स्टैक एप्लीकेशन यूजिंग स्प्रिंग बूट एंड रिएक्ट जेस इनफैक्ट लाइक आई हैव क्रिएटेड वन यू नो प्ले लिस्ट ऑल्सो फॉर रिएक्ट जेस एंड द स्प्रिंग बूट प्रोजेक्ट फुल स्टैक एप्लीकेशन सो यू कैन चेक दैट सो बेसिकली लॉट्स ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स वेर आस्किंग लाइक हाउ डू यू क्रिएट सच टाइप ऑफ यू नो Uh, application using Spring Boot and React JS. So basically, they were asking about the tutorial videos. So I thought to create tutorial videos also, but the thing is, uh, we cannot directly create such type of you know big application. Uh, so I thought to uh, start it from the you know base level. Okay, firstly let's uh, talk about the back end, then we will move forward to the front end also. So if we talk about the back end, then mainly we will talk about the Spring Boot, and mainly uh, in this video. Uh, we will cover the basics of Spring Boot. Okay, so these are the topics to cover today in this video. So we will see what is Spring Boot, then what is the use of Spring Boot, then why Spring Boot, what is Spring Initializer, then how to create our first Spring Boot app, then how to run Spring Boot, then how to create our first REST API and test it from the browser. Okay, so we will uh, start in a few seconds. But before that, I would like to request you guys to please do like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. it will motivate me to create more such type of tutorial videos for you guys so now without wasting any time let's see all this topic in detail so the first question is what is spring boot so spring boot is a project that is built on the top of the spring framework okay so if you don't know what is spring framework then we will see within a seconds only okay then uh, here it is a spring module that provides a rapid application development feature to the spring framework okay so basically spring boot provides the rapid application development feature that means we can rapidly develop the spring based application okay we will see all these things in a few minutes let's see what is spring framework okay so spring framework is the most popular java framework in the world okay it makes easier to build java applications by taking care of common tasks like object creation cross cutting concerns then web and data handling allowing us to focus on more on the business logic okay so if you didn't got this point okay uh, the second point let me explain you uh, mainly for this object creation okay let me take one of the example here i have created it so if you develop the application java based application without spring okay then at that time we manually create and manage the dependencies okay we can see here in the example so this is our simple java class okay the class name is car and here there is dependency we can see engine okay so if you are making the application without the spring then you have to add this dependency manually okay so if you see manually creating the engine okay how by using this new keyword okay we are manually creating the engine object here okay but if we talk about the spring if you are making spring based you know java application then spring handles creating and injecting the dependencies okay now let's see how so the, here we have created the class engine okay and we have annotated it with component annotation okay and uh, here we have auto wired in the car object okay and here if we see this constructor so spring injects the engine okay we are not creating this you know engine manually so i hope you got the point okay if you didn't got then also no need of taking any tension okay uh, slowly slowly we will uh, you know understand each and every point yeah so the next topic is drawback of spring framework okay so spring framework while powerful have drawbacks related to configuration okay uh, when developing the spring based application it involves lots of configuration especially with traditional xml based setup okay so if we have created a uh, spring mvc project there we have to make lots of configuration okay using the xml based okay that is xml based actually okay so because of this complex configuration it can be error prone okay so here comes the our spring boot okay so that's why i have written here so spring boot comes here in the picture for overcoming this issue okay now let's see why spring boot okay so spring boot makes it easy to create stand alone production grade spring based application that you can just run okay so what spring boot tells to us is like you don't take tension about the configuration of you know application and all the things i will handle those things okay you just mainly focus on the business uh, part okay business logic part so that's why in the second point i have written removes the manual work of configuration like it was in the spring based application okay lots of configuration that was xml based yeah so here it removes the manual work yeah the third point is spring boot reduces the project configuration time 
allowing us to focus on the business logic so i hope you guys uh, got the point okay like why we should use spring boot next part is what is spring initializer so now we saw like uh, by using spring boot we can create you know a uh, spring based application uh, very quickly right but the thing is how we can create that so spring initializer is a web based tool that simplifies the process of creating spring boot project okay so by using spring initializer we create our spring boot project so it acts like a project setup wizard getting you started quickly without writing lots of you know boilerplate code yeah and uh, what is spring initializer we have seen this is the theory part now let's see what exactly it is okay i'll open this you simply have to open this url okay start.io.spring okay let me cancel it and paste it here start.spring.io okay if you hit this you will be able to see this setup wizard okay yeah so from here we can create our spring boot application very quickly so now let's create our first spring boot application by using spring initializer okay yeah so here we have to firstly select the project so maven i will select here the language uh, let it java only then spring boot version uh, let it default only 3.30 this is the latest version of spring boot okay then uh, in the project metadata we have to give the group artifact the project name description package name and the java version okay so let me give the group name as code with murad okay then artifact i'll write here first spring boot app okay and in the description i will write first spring boot app okay and package name let's so uh, keep as first app okay com dot code with murad dot first app and packaging uh, let it jar only okay and i'll select the java version as 17 okay because this uh, spring boot 3 supports uh, java 17 okay below that we cannot uh, with the below version okay uh, we cannot create the spring boot application with the version 3 okay then the next here thing is dependencies okay from here we can add the dependencies okay so if you want to create the uh, rest apis okay then we should add one dependency called spring web okay so i'll write here web and spring web we can see here and i'll click here and here we can see it's written build web including restful application using spring mvc uses apache tomcat as the default embedded container okay so here in spring boot uh, there is no need of you know configuring the tomcat server also it provides the embedded tomcat server okay now i think everything is fine for creating our first uh, uh, rest api the spring web dependency is enough okay now i'll click on generate and here we can see it got downloaded now i i will open here yeah in the download folder it is so i'll just copy this okay or uh, let me just extract it here only extract and we can see here our project first spring boot app now let me uh, keep this in another uh, workspace paste it here and now i will open the sts4 so mainly i use sts only for the development of the spring boot application from here we can import the project which we have downloaded okay so here you have to click on the maven then existing maven projects click on next and you have to browse to select the project where you have kept okay so here is my project first spring boot app i'll select the folder just click on finish and the moment you click on finish button here you can see importing maven projects okay and it's nine percent uh, let it import properly and here we can see it's importing and that's why we are not able to see the proper uh, you know maven structure okay we can see the progress also here yeah let it import and one more thing uh, so we have created our spring boot application using spring initializer okay but if you are using sts4 okay spring tool suite 4 or sts3 
so at that time you can directly develop the project i mean uh, uh, create the project from here also okay you simply have to click on file then click on new then spring starter project okay spring starter project and here also you will be able to see the same url start dot spring dot io okay and uh, again here also you have to enter the same details like the project name group artifact okay then description package then type uh, packaging jar then language java then type maven java version the same thing you have you can like fill here also and you can click on next and finish button okay but the thing is here it will directly import the project here in the sts okay you don't have to manually you know extract then import okay those things you don't have to do but if you are making uh, it using the spring initializer you have to download it and you have to import it manually in the uh, ide yeah so i think it is imported properly and we can see the proper project structure also so now let's see the package so this is the maven uh, you know structure src main java then src main resources here is our pom.xml file okay let me open it so remember we have added the dependency uh, uh, starter web okay so we can see here okay and uh, first spring boot app then description name we can see here okay the version 3.3 we can see here and here the main thing is src main java okay uh, this folder here we will actually create our you know we will write the code okay we will make the uh, classes and all okay as of now like by default it has created one package here and inside that it has created uh, one java file okay first spring boot application dot java and here if you notice this uh, it includes the main method okay and here this class is annotated with spring boot application and this is the very important annotation we will see uh, these things in the upcoming videos okay in details but as of now uh, we know our project is created okay spring boot application is created so let's run it so for running the spring boot application you simply have to click on right button then run as spring boot app So here we can see our project is starting, okay, and we can also see the version here 3.3, which is the latest version. And uh, let's see the log now. We can see here Tomcat started on port 8080 and started first Spring Boot app application, okay. So that means our first Spring Boot application got started. Okay? But if you see here, we have literally done nothing, okay. We have simply I created the Spring Boot application using Spring Initializer. Then we have just imported in HTS4 and we have just executed the project, which has taken just minutes. Okay, and our Spring Boot application is running, and that's what Spring Boot is. Okay, and now let's see whether our Spring Boot application is running fine or not. So I'll open the browser and let's uh, test it. Okay, so for that, now we know our application is running on port 8080, right? And it is running in my local system. So I will. Hit the command local host, okay, and I will write here local host 8080, okay, because our Spring Boot application is running on port 8080. So let me hit it and let's see uh, what output we get, okay. So if you see here white label error page, okay, that means our application is uh, running, okay, but since we have not created any APIs, okay, so that's why we are getting error page. But the thing is our application is running, okay. Now let's see. Uh, let me just uh, terminate it. Okay, let me close it. Okay, and now let's hit it. Now let's see what's the output. Okay, so this time we will not get the error page. Okay, it will simply say this site can't be reached. Okay, but previously when it was running, we were getting the white label error. Okay, which clearly tells us like your Spring Boot application is running on port 8080. But since we have not created any APIs, okay, we have not coded anything. That's why we were getting the error. Yeah, let me hit again. Yeah, so we can see we got again we got the output. Yeah, now let's create one simple API using Spring Boot. So for that, here I will create one class. I'll write App Controller here. So this controller will basically handle the request which is coming from the front end okay 
I'll make it rest controller rest controller I'll make the get mapping API so if you don't know all these things like this annotation what is this rest controller what is this uh, get mapping then no worries okay we will see all these things in the upcoming videos here our aim is to create one simple hello world API and to test it okay so we will see all these things in the upcoming videos so I'll write here hello world and I'll give here message as hello friends welcome channel and I will simply return this message okay and how we can access this endpoint okay uh, so let's view it as hello okay so we call this as endpoints okay by using this only we can access this api from the external world and also let me print something here so that uh, we should know like uh, we are getting we have got the request here our control is here uh, let me write here receive request from outside for hello world api okay so we should be able to see this also in the console now let me run the application again and let's see whether we, are, we will get this output or not yeah application is running now I'll again open the browser let me hit this again to test whether our application is running yeah our application is running okay but now I want to test this okay so this is our endpoint okay and this is get mapping so I can test it from the browser okay so I'll just copy this hello here and I'll just write here hello okay and hit enter and here you can see hello friends welcome to code with Murad channel okay we can see the output here okay but if we write here hello world and enter then again we will get this 404 error okay not found it is basically saying you have not created uh, any api you know uh, which is handling uh, this url okay you have not created uh, such type of endpoint in your spring boot application it is telling like that okay 404 not found yeah but since we have created the hello so that's why we are getting the output here hello friend welcome to the code with Murad channel and let me open the console here you can clearly see received request from outside world for hello world api okay now let me hit again we will be able to see this thing third time also okay let me hit this and we can see this is third time okay so now we have created our first REST API also using Spring Boot. Okay, we will see lot more things in the upcoming videos. Okay, uh, but for this video, that's it. We have covered all these things. Okay, like uh, we have seen all these things. Like what is Spring Boot? What is the use of Spring Boot? Then why Spring Boot? What is Spring Initializer? Then we created our first Spring Boot app using the Spring Initializer. Then we executed our Spring Boot app. Then after that, we created one hello world uh, our first api and we have tested it from the browser so that's all from this video uh, i hope you guys like the video in this video i have covered the basics of spring boot okay uh, we have started from the basic and it will go to the advanced okay so in the upcoming videos a lot more things uh, will come okay so i would like to request you guys to please do like share and subscribe to my youtube channel because it will motivate me to create more such type of tutorial videos and uh, later on we will start working on the you know uh, projects also okay full stack projects also so hit that subscribe button 
and uh, we will meet soon in my next video till then take care and bye bye